The 40s is the new 30s. Yay. Yeah? The 50s is the new 40s. Basically what has happened in medicine now is that we've added about 15 years smack dab in the middle of the prime of our life. So I'm here to talk to you tonight about what you're doing with it. Are you... Sorry, I was running around on your breath. Um, are you kind of just growing old and not thinking and letting life kind of mindlessly catch you up, pass you by? Or are you really grabbing onto it and saying, you know what, I love my youth, I love my strength, I love my vitality, I'm going to keep a hold of it. Ron asked me to come here tonight to talk to you about ways to come into the new year physically ready and prepared. I am a board certified anesthesiologist and pain management specialist. I have my own pain management practice in La Quinta, California. But the reason I'm here tonight is because I have a master's in exercise physiology and I've done health and wellness now for about 30 years. Uh, long before I ever wanted to be a doctor, I was a dancer in New York City and uh, injured my back. And I think that probably led me into pain. But starting as a dancer, obviously I was aware of how I moved and health and even the weirdo macrobiotic diets that we used to do back then. But it's all kind of evolved. The masters um, has all kind of taken me into what I'm going to talk to you about tonight. Uh, we're not doing really well um, as a country and, and as a society. What I want you to know tonight is that you are more powerful than any pill your doctor can prescribe. Plain and simple. And, and we've forgotten that. You go to the doctor, you know, uh, and I'm as guilty probably as anybody, and I'm in a profession that has just kind of been very paternalistic. Oh, let me give you this. Oh, you can't sleep. I'll throw a pill at it. Oh, you're stressed. I'll throw another pill at it. What I know and what your doctor knows but doesn't have the time to tell you is that you have more power than any pill I could ever prescribe. You have more power in the lifestyle choices you make than your genes, what you were born with, or whatever destiny may present itself. And we've forgotten that. And as we get older, we kind of just pull into ourselves. You get less active, you move less. You find easier ways to do things and you don't even think about it. And I know this because I see it every day. And I see the ravages of it in my pain patients. So this is how bad it is. If you put high heart disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes together, they're gonna kill seven out of 10 of us. And right now, they're eating up 75% of our healthcare budget. They're all preventable. Absolutely preventable. I mean, you're going to die of something. But do you want to be a cardiac cripple at age 40? You know, when you have a massive MI and, and your wife is so afraid because you never know when you're going to have the real big one. You already had a big one to start with. Or do you want to go playing tennis happily on your way until you kick off on the golf course at age 90? Those are your choices. Not mine. Those are yours. Heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, osteoporosis, arthritis and chronic low back pain, all impacted by lifestyle. The choices you make absolutely make or break what you do. So I wrote a book, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> I wrote a book in all my free time, um, but from being a single mom and starting my own practice, I wrote a book. And it talks about how to use exercise to fight disease. Your doctor knows, like I know, that exercise is the best medicine. Now, you know, shrinking healthcare dollars, uh, we just don't have time. We don't have time in our office to get you started. We don't have time to teach you what to do. And doctors really don't have the exercise expertise. So you can go to a trainer. And trainers are very nice at putting a pin in a machine. They know the mechanics of exercise. But if you're over 40, if you're over 50, 
and you have high blood pressure or you have diabetes, they don't know how to adjust your exercise program if you have that disease. They don't know the precautions you should take if you have those diseases. They don't have the medical background to help you be safe. If you have a bad shoulder or a bad knee, physical therapists are great. But again, where's the medical expertise to help you know what to do? So that's why I wrote the book. It's kind of an introduction, and then chapter by chapter addresses these six major diseases. If you have high blood pressure, you need to exercise very differently than if you're trying to work on an arthritic knee or a bad shoulder. Totally different. And totally, and you need to exercise a very specific way if you want to prevent osteoporosis. And it goes on and on and on and on. So the book is the link. It's the link between your doctor telling you, all right, George, your blood pressure's creeping up. Oh, you put on another 30 pounds. Ugh, that blood sugar's starting to get up. I'm going to have to start you on medicines if you don't drop 30 pounds before I see you in the next six months. Oh, time's up. I'll see you in six months. And off you go. And where do you go? This book is for you. You know, I knew exercise, right? I mean, I was a master's in exercise physiology. I ran a cardiac rehab program, right? I, I used exercise to treat heart disease and, and help people recover from open heart surgery. And yet when I wrote the book, I was really blown away. The uh, statistics are really, really impressive. First off, if you've turned 50, you've got a 90% chance right now of having high blood pressure which means you turn 50, you got a 90% chance of being on meds for the rest of your life, mm. okay? There's about 23 million diabetics. Another 57 million are pre-diabetic or ticking time bombs, which means they're all going on meds too. Yet exercise can treat all of these diseases. Exercise prevents heart disease and high blood pressure in half of us, half, no heart attack the number one killer. No stroke, no kidney failure, la, 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 la. And it goes on. But if you have high blood pressure and you get on the right exercise program, 75% of you can get off meds. Absolutely off meds. I'm hurrying, I promise. I promise. No, it's a long day. It's okay. It's a long day for me too. Um, so 75% of you can be cured with the right exercise program. I can't say that with a pill. I give you a pill, I put a Band-Aid on a problem. I get you have diabetes, I give you a pill. Have I cured your diabetes? No, I've Band-Aided it. You have chronic back pain, I give you a pill. Have I cured you? No. So all medicine can do is Band-Aids. What you can do is so much more. Absolutely. Um, we're a land of immediate results, right? I want it now. Patients come into the office. Well, I've been in pain for 30 years, but today I want a cure. I'm like, thank you very much. I will, I will help you for sure. After your very first exercise session, you drop your blood pressure to normal levels with the very first exercise session. That blood pressure lowering effect stays there for 22 hours. You start on the right program, you're off your meds. Add in the stress reduction, add in the weight loss, and you're cured. Now, maybe you like to drop hundreds of dollars a month on meds, but I'd rather buy a Prada purse myself. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetes if you, is the same way. Cured with exercise and weight loss. You have to drop the fat if you're type 2 diabetic. But, you know, the, I, I, love, I love the politicians. But one soapbox, one quick soapbox. You know, they want to cut doctor's fees, they want to cut everything else, but where's the onus on us? This is treatable stuff, guys, and it's not that big a deal. I promise you. Yeah, rah, rah, weight loss, I know, exercise, oh my God, not another guru. But I'm a single mom, I run my own business, I'm actually two now with the book, and I don't exercise a whole lot. There's no way. 
there's just no way. I was going to talk to you guys tonight and get up in the morning. <laughs> Haven't done that for two years, but I thought, well, tomorrow morning I'll be motivated. <laughs> yeah, no luck. No luck. So there's other things, and this works for you guys. This is really why I'm here.